Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Green Day, Connecticut. It's unbelievable. We had our holiday promo. So let, let's explain some of the views. We work behind a green screen, the weather people do anyway, yeah. and we work in front of a green screen. We used to work in front of a green screen, but since our new set, now we work in front of a video monitor. So, so this year- everybody wore green. Because everybody has to tape their holiday promos in front of the green screen, which means you cannot wear green. So we've never worn green in our holiday promos- Until today. Until today. And, and now- Everybody showed up in green. Literally our creative services director was like, whoa, another green one. <laughs> another green one. So when you see happy holidays from all of us at Channel 3, it's gonna be from someone in a green outfit. Yeah, so don't adjust your TV. We are in green, it's not same. Patrick's Day, it's just... I have my red tie on. It actually looks more coral. Yeah, well, I think it might be a little coral. Uh, but, but I like it. I like the, it's more of a preppy take. Yeah. And this is like not the total green. It's the, you it's know, the, more of a, it's, it's, a this is line. like a Kelly green. This is more like the preppy green. Yeah, so I love it. You've got the preppy version of Christmas. And they like showed a, 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 a retake a thousand times of you and I and Haney's crazy moments mm -hmm. in front of that choir down in Woodbury, and I couldn't get the lines right. Oh, right, 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 yes, I, I did, yeah. That's... And I'm wearing that same sweater <laughs> from I don't know how many I years ago. I hope you're all enjoying, I, I did post on my Instagram account the full 25 year um, piece that I did on you, but all throughout this well, week, we've great. been, we've well, been having like all of these moments in and out. And of... I'm almost done with all the emails. I will be done by the end of today, so okay. that's good. Anyway. Anyway, uh, it is National Fast Food Day. Woo, fried chicken, burgers, pizza, love it, love Something it all. Something about just saying that doesn't sound good, but I know we all do it. I okay, November 16th, um, the holiday has its roots in the early 20th century when Americans could purchase pre-made food at lunch counters. Yum, yum, and now, more yum. Now, most historians agree that White Castle was the first fast food really? chain. I used to love White Castle. I only belly got to, bombers. Yeah, I got to get it on, uh, on road trips when we would drive to Ohio from my grandmother's house, and I would always get to stop at White Castle. I still White love Castle. the size of them because they were so much smaller. They were like little buns. Like yes. they were almost like. I remember um, saying, I want five. My mom would say, You can't eat five. I said, Yes, yes I, can. I can. And I would eat them all. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I'm never going to get them until next year. I want what you, five. What do, you, what do you call that? Like a, a, a slider. slider. A slider. It's like a slider. Yeah. Yeah. It's Red Cup Day at Starbucks. The coffee chain says it's a way to kick off the holiday season. You could wear your green and get a red cup. <laughs> yeah, you can, and you can go in. You can do it online. You can do it. You get the you get the free reusable cup as long as you order a holiday motif drink. Oh, okay. So, so I'm thinking I might get go get something a, in there. Can I get a pumpkin spice latte and get a free cup? Because I use my cup all. Oh, pumpkin doesn't count. But see, I would like oh. it to be. Um, as long as they don't put too much in it, because then, unfortunately, like when they put too much in it, I just get a headache. But like a cinnamon, the, do they the have clove. Eggnog? They do have eggnog. Oh, and they have gingerbread. Yeah, All right, you maybe get something. I love. This is going to be my inspiration. They're putting magenta through red and green, and I have a lot of old red and green decorations, but I want to update it. So I think I'm going to put magenta ribbon throughout my decorations. So it'll be idea. just like the Starbucks cup. I do, if you saw in some of the shots yesterday at the uh, Turkey Drive, I was using my reusable Starbucks cup. Yeah. I made a coffee myself and went to use the cup. Okay, so New York City is gearing up for the 97th, 97th. annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. We're wow. going to have several new floats this year. So exciting. 97 years, can you believe it? 97 years. And during the pandemic, obviously, they took a little break, right? If yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. So, Mutant Mayhem, Palace of Sweets, Igniting Memories, and this sounds great, the deliciously delectable World of Wonka. Wonka. <laughs> what is this? Oh, the that good, looks really cool. The Good Burger Mobile? That's Ooh, what that is. That's cool. It's also going to make an appearance for the It's going to promote film. Good Burger 2. It's a I film. I don't remember Good Burger 1. So you're gonna have 26 floats. 16 giant character balloons. And marching bands. And more. Yeah. All right, so Mariah Carey. It's shocking to me, but. Uh, it's not, her favorite song, the, the self-described Queen of Christmas has said, it's not all I want for Christmas. That is not her favorite song. It's what, Nat King Cole? Nat King Cole. The Version Christmas. of a Christmas song. Yeah. She prefers uh, one of the older classics. Isn't that great? And she went on to reveal that her two favorite Christmas movies are Elf, which you are encouraging me to see. Yes, well, that, this is the last year you're going out seeing Elf. We'll right. have you over, we'll make you the spaghetti with the maple syrup and the chocolate chips on it, and you'll eat, watch Elf. I'm free December 8th. Uh, and no, Miracle, you're not. I'm free. There's something else you're doing that day. <laughs> I'll be at your house, but I'm free. And Miracle on 34th Street. 
<laughs> I'm not serving that. Okay. okay, very good. All right, Swifties, get ready for the ultimate vacation. Marvelous Mouse Travels is teaming up with Royal Caribbean for Taylor Swift themed cruise. Don't let Helena do here. I might have to do this. <laughs> okay, so if you missed the concerts or you want to go to the concert, it's even extended. The four night, five day cruise sets sails from Miami. It travels to the Bahamas on the allure of the seas, and Swift happens to be performing for three nights in Miami. So on the Eras Tour. Oh so my it's a perfect God. addition if you want to keep going. You just go on the cruise. After you've done the Eras tour, and they celebrate all things Taylor. Now listen, you got to go October 21st of 2024. But you also have to get tickets to the show. You got to get tickets to the show. You don't have to, to take the cruise. I mean, right? well, you don't, I guess. But there, uh, everything's Taylor on the cruise, so they're imagining that maybe you'd see the show in Miami and then hop on the boat to continue it. But if not, maybe you could hear the show from outside the stadium, and. Um, then you can go on there and you get friendship bracelets and all these things. It's 1573 for a It sounds a like room. a lot of fun. Theme cocktails, dance parties, karaoke. I don't know. I've never karaoke. gone cruises. Is that a big price, a little price? 1573. Uh, that's an excellent price. Oh, okay. Yeah. If it's and, it, and if it includes the drink package. I'm sure it doesn't. You have to buy uh, then that it doesn't, extra. Then you got to buy it extra. But all it right. probably includes some friendship bracelets. Yeah, 1573 is a good price. All right. It's Curtains up. For the musical, this is... This has got to be a little tongue-in-cheek, right? Tongue I think it is. Gwyneth goes skiing. Now, what's that about? That's about her court case. Exactly. So where she got sued for hitting someone, but she won, he lost. But he was a doctor, right? An ophthalmologist or Yeah, something? And, and then he tried to sue her and said she went down the wrong way and she was too fast and reckless, but um, then... then she won. making a mu musical out so of it? So they said it's going to be for Christmas and... <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna have. They said love, betrayal, skiing, and somehow Christmas. It's in London. Oh, it's in London. It runs from December 13th through the 23rd, again in London. So if you want to see this, you're gonna head across the pond. It's you're the jury, I guess, and uh, you know those Brits. They have oh, a funny that's kind of a, that's kind of funny. You're they, the jury. Yeah. So right. I mean, those Brits, they like those funny things. I'm very upset about this. Young Sheldon is ending I'm its so series. I'm so sad. This is one of my favorites, and we've had the opportunity to interview him. But this is one of the only shows as a family that we've been watching that everyone's, and even now that the kids are older, it's like a joke. They'll sit down and be like, can we watch an episode of Young Sheldon? And if you fast forward through the commercials, it's probably 13 minutes. Exactly. It's incredible. But it's wholesome. And February it's 15th, 2024, will sign off with a one-hour series finale. Sorry, on May 16th. 2024 it will sign off. It's the spin-off series and it's already been on for seven seasons so I guess that's part of it is they have to get up to when he's old enough because it's a spin-off series from Big Bang where Sheldon Cooper's life as a nine-year-old prodigy is detailed. Oh it will premiere oh, hang on a second according to people young Sheldon will premiere its seventh and final season on February 15th and sign off on May 16th. Oh, okay so February new shows yeah new shows February um, that's upsetting I, I, I do enjoy that show. I love it too. Yeah it's really good. Yeah all right, anyone who has ever dined out with your friends knows sometimes um, you need the one person who's going to... We always, when we go out with my college Michael friends, we Rubis. give it... Yeah, we give it to Lauren. She yep. was the B school. We're like, what, what are we owe? What do we owe? <laughs> here you go, Michael. Here's the, cal here's the phone. And then he gets out his phone with the calculator and he's all trying to divot it up. And then you're like, okay, it's $60 a piece. Now, does that include tip or does it not include tip? And then if it does include tip, how do you put the tip on the phone? It's a mess. Anyway, Venmo is going to make it easier. The money transfer app is rolling out Venmo groups. It'll give you... You can join as a family, join as a group of friends, and you can all be added and automatically calculate the split cost. I love it. I think it's just absolutely great. You're just going to put in there the total bill, and then it's going to calculate it, and Good. there you go. All right, we don't have time to get to the Kraft mayonnaise story, but tune in tomorrow. We will have more on the Kraft jar no, of mayonnaise. Just, we don't have a show tomorrow. Just I suffice apologize. it to say they want to put it outside and get Miriam a new... Miriam Webster and get a new word moist. No. A six-foot replica of a jar of Kraft mayonnaise. How about they get the word Kraft yuck? Kraft mayonnaise, not Hellman's. Sorry. I apologize. Get the word yuck. Yuck. That's All right.